So we're out here in front of the former Macy's building. And as you can see, they are completely bulldozing the inside. And they've got these dumpsters set out up here. And they're filling them all up with all the materials. So it looks like on the inside, they're taking the building down to the steel. I wonder if they're keeping the escalators inside though. And uh, the front is all roped off with these uh, steel barricades here, chain link fence barricades. I wish I could get closer, but this is as close as I can get. So now we're up on the J.C. Penney side, and there's not much going on up here except it's all roped off with chain link fence. And there is one door propped open with a fan, so maybe they are, maybe they aren't working on the second floor. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's head into the mall now and see what uh, if anything has changed on the inside of the mall. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe down below if you're not already. And uh, yeah, let's take a look. JC Penny still looks pretty healthy inside, fully stocked and everything. So this is the south wing of the mall, and um, not sure why sh the shoe department's closed. Uh, do not open st oh the gate's broken. Okay, there's the all about collectibles, the exhibition hall. Doesn't look like it's open. And then here's the former entrance to Macy's and Payless Shoes over there. And it looks like they've um, put like a new drywall up over the entrance or something. Uh, the rumor that I've heard is that it's going to be something related to Dick's Sporting Goods moving in here. But uh, that may or may not be true. I have no idea. And then it looks like some kind of construction office over here. But yeah, right here it says danger, hard hat area. And then some contact info if there's an emergency. So now we're walking through the center part of the mall. Well, south center part, GNC is gone. Express is still here. It's been a couple months since I did this walk, so I don't expect a lot of things to change, but this is going to be more of a quick overview. And we'll be at center court in just a second. So now we're in the center court area. Former jewelry store. Former Bonton. K Jewelers, still gone. No more Victoria's Secret. Now it looks like a defunct calendar store. Going that way, you'll be out on the west side of the mall. Auntie Anne's is still down there. Spencer's and Claire's. Now we're like in the center north part of the mall. Shop 607. T-Mobile. But yeah, this part seems pretty pretty busy and pretty crowded. Eddie Bauer is here, still. Pro Image Sports, I think this is called. Dental office. Now, Burlington is going to be leaving soon. 
Uh, Burlington's going to be leaving soon and moving over to Vessel at the Town Square Mall. Let's take a quick last look at Burlington before it leaves the mall, which I assume is going to happen here in a few months based on how far along they are in the construction in Johnson's uh, Vestal. This place is definitely going to be a lot bigger than the Vestal one will be when it's done. See, and in the back there, they have like a whole half of the store they're not using here, which is probably a waste for them, both in terms of air conditioning and rent cost. Oh, look how empty it is back here. That's wild. Here's the area they're not using. Let me know in, down in the comments if you remember when this used to be Bradley's. Sadly, I'm old enough to remember that. But yeah, this place will be uh, empty again soon. So keep watching and we'll keep you updated. Even back when this was Bradley's, I kind of liked the popcorn texture on the walls here and uh, they're starting to pop off. So that's not good. Former Radio Shack. Hot Topic, I think, will be here until the mall eventually uh, is torn down. <laughs> it's like 20 years from now. Really fun arcade in this part of the mall, which is awesome. The Moonwalker Arcade. And then they've got the pinball room over here. Angry Birds coin machine. Great Escape Adventures. The auto mall that never seems to be open when I'm here. And here's the new Lord's Health and Fitness Center. Uh, let's see. Do not enter. Go outside to the main entrance, it says on the door. Seems like, and then over there is the Broome County Career Center. Seems like they would want to have an entrance to the mall, but, uh, and then construction over here, obviously. Seems like they would want to have a mall entrance. So let's go around front and see if we can check it out. And basically, I'm going to go in and see if I can, uh, or if I'm allowed to check the place out. Here's what I found. I see a pool area right here. That's pretty cool. Looks very bright and well lit. My watch keeps trying to talk to me. 491 Reynolds Road, Suite A. Wow, it's very white in here. And here's the backside of um, Factory by Beer Tree. Well guys, thanks for joining me on this quick July 2022 update of the Oakdale Mall. Again, hit subscribe down below and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, I'll try to keep you guys uh, fresh on the latest happenings here at the mall. Thanks a lot. Thank you.